Apple just fixed the iPad Pro. Oh my god, these are huge news. They fixed all of my problems with iPad OS on the new iPad OS 26. If you are excited, drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel. Let's talk about all the new things coming to the iPad, shall we? So, with the release of iPad OS 26, your iPad Pro just became a Mac competitor. Yes, I thought Apple would actually release all of these features slowly. But no, they released the biggest iPad OS update ever, and it's called iPad OS 26. First, it got the new liquid glass look that iOS 26 also got. So all the new changes coming to iOS 26 are coming to the iPad Pro. All the new looks, all the new animations, all this transparent look to iOS. With these changes coming to all systems, we are getting a completely new home screen look, we are getting a completely new lock screen look, a completely new control center look, completely new wallpapers. So this liquid glass look will come to every single aspect of iOS and iPadOS, macOS, every single version of the OS from Apple will ha now will have this new design. This is simply the new design from software for Apple. And I think it looks great. Some people are criticizing it, but I think on the iPad Pro will look awesome, futuristic, and I love it. Of course, this is the smallest change coming to iPadOS 26, because we simply got a completely new Windows system. Yes, I was just looking here at Apple's website. We are completely baffled by what Apple has released. An entirely new, powerful, and intuitive Windows system, Apple called. There's no funny names now, but Apple delivered the juice. Because now, iPadOS 26 introduces powerful new features that will help you work, control, organize, and switch between apps, according to Apple. Well, this looks awesome. This looks amazing. Because now, we have, finally, so many Windows support, because we can have two, three, four, five Windows at the same time. And unlike with other failed attempts, Stage Manager and the other ones that I don't know the name, this is finally what we have asked. Oh my God, this is completely brought from the Mac. Yes, because now we can resize the Windows with the size that we want, we can minimize it, we can expand it, just like the Mac. We also get a new menu bar at the top. That's awesome, that's great, and that's something we've been asking for a long time. Finally, we get a decent menu system, a decent Windows system for iPad. Yes, we also now have a pointer. Finally, a normal pointer for iPad OS. If you want to use your iPad just like a normal person wants, touchscreen, you can. But finally, this is the touchscreen Mac we have been asking for, because now you can use a pointer with a mouse, you have the normal menu system, you have the normal Windows system coming, and you even have a new files app, which is also awesome, brought from Finder on the Mac. So all the things that I was actually bothered with iPadOS systemically at this level of the system are now fixed. I mean, everything. Like, there's none that Apple did not address. The first one was the Windows system, the window managing system. It's completely fixed now. It's awesome, works great. The menu bar at the top, even the red, yellow, and green dots at the top <laughs> left corner you can now use for on iPadOS coming from macOS. So now it's a completely macOS experience with touchscreen. Let's see how it unrolls on the iPad throughout the months coming. Let's see how people react, but I think this is a very positive thing for pros that use the iPad Pro. All the new Apple intelligence features coming to iOS 26 are also present on iPadOS 26. And this time, there are some that I think are very, very valuable. First, the live translation feature. This is really, really cool. You can use this on FaceTime calls. You can use this normal calls. This is translating your live voice, your live friend that is talking to you in a different language, it will translate it to you and give you at the screen with this transparent look, the liquid glass look. And I think it looks awesome. It's a very cool use case for Apple intelligence. Google has been doing this in a while on Pixel, now available on every single Apple device with Apple intelligence. This is a very, very cool feature that I simply love and I cannot wait to see more on other devices. We also get every single Apple intelligence features present on iOS 26. So if you wanna find more, go watch my other video on iOS 26 and all of its new AI features, all of its new design, features and whatever it's new on iOS 26, macOS 26 and watchOS 26. These new names are easier to remember. Let's just say that. Like I was telling you, we also have a completely new files app and I cannot wait to show you guys because this is an incredible, incredible files app. Now you have all the information unlike before from Finder, which is much more useful. And according to Apple, this introduces powerful new ways to manage access files and edit files. An enhanced files app with an updated list view allows users to see more of their document details in resizable columns and collapsible folders. To make folders easier to identify at a glance, Files also offers folder customization options that include custom colors, icons, 
and emoji that sync across devices. For quicker access, users can now drag any folder from the Files app into the dock. Additionally, users can get a default app for opening specific files or files type. And inserted onto this new Files app, we also have the new Preview app on iPadOS. The Preview app you use a lot. If you know the Mac and you use the Mac, you always use the Preview app. And I bet you don't know it exists. Whenever you tap the space bar on your Mac, a preview of the D file that you use opens and you can use any type of tool that you want. You can share with it, you can copy it, you can scribble on it. So this new preview app is now available on iPadOS. This is so cool because unlike before, you couldn't preview the file, now you can. And that's essential on the computer, in my opinion. So the preview file app is here, the new files app is here, and according to Apple, it's gonna be big, a, big, a very, very big update. And I'm so, so excited. Guys, this is so cool. I mean, just, just take a look at it, the preview app. I don't know, I mean, I could use B-roll, but I'm so excited I'm showing you this, the image. Just look at it, so, so beautiful. Thank God Apple decided to do this. Oh my God, iPadOS 26 fixes so many of my issues with iPadOS and I bet it fixes yours. So yeah, I think that moving on, I couldn't be more happy with iPadOS 26. Another pet peeve of mine working with the iPad was always the background tasks. This was probably the main thing that you heard me complain about the iPad while I was doing my reviews throughout last year. And now Apple has fixed it. I mean, who could have guessed that Apple could fix everything in one update, right? Oh my God. Now that I was kind of turned off by Apple, by Apple News, by Apple itself, Apple decides to drop everything that I want for iPad. I think I will start to use this, this iPad as my main computer. The only thing that is left is uh, the, the full fat Final Cut Pro app. After that, there's no reasons for me to use my Mac. This is better, this is simply better. A better computer, better screen, better form factor, has a touch screen, has face ID, it's smaller, more compact. It has a, power, a powerful chip. The M4 chip is more than enough for me. So the only thing that was left was these small details, the Finders app, the multi-window support, and now the background tasks. Apple has released the background tasks. This is very, very important because we'll be able to export Final Cut Pro videos while doing other things essential for my workflow. While editing the thumbnail, while writing an email, I can be working now while exporting something using the Final Cut Pro app. And this is so important, guys. This is something very, very big that Apple has released. And according to them, let me just quote them so I'm not wrong, taking advantage of the incredible power of Apple Silicon, Apple OS 26 unlocks the ability to perform computationally intensive background tasks. This is a joke. You don't need the M4 chip or iPad OS 26 to do background tasks. You have been doing it for ages now on Mac. <laughs> but I guess if you wanna say that and release it, who cares? I'm happy, thanks Apple. This one is for me, I just love it. <laughs> it's almost like you watched my review, am I right? Another big one that people were asking for iPad OS to allow was to choose your audio source. Yes, before you couldn't choose your audio source on the iPad Pro while recording audio. Who could have imagined that a computer could have done that? Am I right? Well, according to Apple, this is a complete breakthrough on Apple OS 26. Am I being sarcastic? Maybe. But this new way to actually choose your audio source is really, really important. Again, whenever you record audio, it's very important to choose where it comes from. A new microphone, a better microphone, or the internal microphone. But before, you couldn't do that. It was so weird. You had to disconnect one, turn off the iPad, then connect this, turn on the iPad and then do these weird things that it actually worked, but it was so weird. Now, having this option, this setting, finally, thanks Apple, so easy, so, so easy to do. Why didn't you do before? Doesn't make any sense at all. You can also now record any type of Zoom call, FaceTime call, whatever, and even record the audio and see the audio and let users see you while you are doing other things on the background. Oh my God, another computer feature. <laughs> Who could have guessed? Oh my God, I'm just joking, but the iPad Pro now is much more powerful. And be careful guys, because now in my reviews of this iPad, I think I need to do another review because it's so big. I think I need to review iPad Pro with the M4 chip with the new iPad OS 26. Completely different review. This will be a completely different device, guys. Completely, completely different. I cannot imagine how different the experience will be. I need to download it and I will. And I will review this iPad Pro again because it's completely necessary. But again, other things are also coming. Changes to message app is also coming. New background things for your chats. Just like WhatsApp, you can do that. According to Apple, this message app brings conversation backgrounds. 
the thing that I was saying to you, lets users customize and personalize their chats with stunning images and create unique backgrounds that fit their conversation with Image Playground. Same thing with WhatsApp, you just can use AI to create playgrounds that you want. And yeah, new, you can also use polls on messages, just like WhatsApp, and typing indicators, just like WhatsApp, and to request and receive Apple Cash on the iPad. So something that it was available on the iPhone, now available on the iPad. And to finish it off, all the last additional features according to Apple, but they are quite big, which is a new calculator app, finally. We had the calculator app appear on iPadOS 18, like a Pokemon, but now we have a new calculator from the Mac. You can now create 3D spheres, 3D graphs using three variables on the calculator. For me, that made engineer, that's very helpful. Now, the Notes app adds the ability to import and export the note into a markdown file, along with support for capturing conversations into the phone app, as well as audio recordings with transcriptions. So, this is very yes, helpful. Guys, sometimes I need to import and export notes on a different format, and using it as a markdown file is very, very important. So now, you can put a file on Notes app, take some notes there, or even take some notes on your Notes app, and then export it as a PDF. This is really, really important. And then, finally, new accessibility features include Accessibility Reader, a new system-wide reading mode designed to make text easier to read for users who are blind, have low vis vision, or have other disabilities affecting reading. An all-new Braille access experience that offers a user-friendly interface for users with a connected Braille display. Share accessibility settings to temporarily use accessibility settings on another person's device. And more. And guys, this is all that is coming for iPad OS 26. This is, according to Apple, the biggest change ever to iPad. And I couldn't agree more. This is the best upgrade ever coming to the iPad Pro. And guys, I'm so excited to try it out that I need to review this iPad yet again, just with the new software, because it will be a completely new experience, completely new device one year later. One thing that actually bothers me is that Apple sold these $2,000 iPads without this software upgrade for one year. And it's kind of crazy because, guys, this is $2,000 with the keyboard. And you couldn't do anything more than an iPhone. It was just a big iPhone. Now, with iPad OS 26, it just became a Mac replacement for me and for most people. So, why? What was Apple thinking? I cannot unfold it. I cannot resolve the enigma. Simply don't know why Apple did it right now. But one thing I'm sure, thanks Apple for doing it. This is the best upgrade ever to the iPad Pro. And these features have changed it forever. So if you're excited, drop back down below, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss my next iPadOS 26 video, which will be the end zone video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.